to the hole. Outside left. That is a very good up and down. Coughlin will fancy this pin, tucked on the left-hand side. She'll go after it. Yeah, similar position to where that flag was. At... This is the big change, the putter. Gaining at least a shot. More than it has been over the past two... Back on the tee, co-leader, Coughlin. What a difference. The average drive on this hole yesterday was 207 right to left. Look where Coughlin's aiming. 128 yards, swinging it from right to left. That's brilliant. She trusted it. And they said, well, why not take it? So she did. And we all know what happened in the next few months after that. It's working, isn't it? 12 under par for Lauren Coughlin. Two birdies in the last three holes. Norm went into from the left here on eight. Less than 60% of the field have hit this fairway this week. Wind into from 10 o'clock. Oh, she's flushed it. in the front edge, that's great. You have to say that's a good par considering she had to hit a hybrid into the par four eighth hole. He didn't make the fairway. Back to the tee box, Coglin. Runway, isn't it? Straight downwind. Okay. Wouldn't surprise me. 87 yards for Coglin. Nearly hit the pin on that. That was a good pop. Didn't swing like Kang's. Kang. Well, it was uh, a nervy start. Let's say it as it is. Mr. Short one at the par three, full three putted there, but it's been very solid since. She's responded with a couple of. Yeah, hit all 18 greens in regulation yesterday. Only missed two fairways. Missed one there, but to edge its way back off the green a hard flag to get close to did not mess around at all playing about 140 yards this with into the wind Great response. Under par for the day, Coglin for a two. Under the wind, get some chase on it. Yeah. Well 331 yards, but... Into a strong wind. Front left pin. Leaped it out to the right. Three out of three so far. Good job. It really was, and it's left herself below the hot to left. Rock solid. That is a superb up and down. Really is. Nice.
lead of finals, the fairway at 13. She's gone long. No bunker this time, but... Yeah, Esther Henselite made an eagle there yesterday. Coglin definitely going for it. Did you get to play in the Pro-Am earlier this week? <laughs> no, I didn't, but my fellow ambassadors did, um, Ender Kenny and Brendan Scallon, and I think they actually won it, um, which was a bit of a bit of a surprise to another. Oh, they're making it look easy. This is some fat... It's amazing, isn't it? You wait... Seven years, over a hundred events for your first LPG for Lauren Coglin. Oh, that is a stunning. What a tee shot! What a two! And another step closer to another victory on the LPGA Tour. Left. The bunker will be playing away from it, turning it in. Sit. Well, she's been testing that short top of that green. Ever so slightly from right to left. Absolutely magnificent. Corner off the dog leg. The bunker carry on the left is 2.30. Well, the marshal pointing as if it's going down the right side. Yeah, that's, that's why she hit three wood. She wasn't going to carry that 2.30 bunker, so she's hit through the sock. Wow. Just chip it down there. Yeah, that'll do. I don't want to compound I've any errors here. Yeah. Wonderful. And hit it from left to right. Surprised to see Lauren Coglin laying up. She's got 212 front that she is not messing around with that, just wedging it down there for position. Especially because she got up and down from about this yardage yesterday, so got the wedge in her hand. How many she's going to win by? for fun winning has become a habit for Lauren Coglin Solheim Cup guaranteed a two-time champion now on the LPGA Tour